Hi everyone, uh, exciting news. First of all, I think I'm finally over my jet lag, I think. And second of all, a package has arrived for me. Oh yes. Oh yeah. That's the spell. Let's try the lower back. So, I know in my last video I said in this video I was gonna um, talk about I'm gonna start setting goals and strategies and stuff going forward but I wanted instead to you know what I think I'll stop that that thing is genuinely really good and given how much time I spend hunched over my laptop editing photos editing videos working on my website all of that you know that thing is much needed because um, I get such bad posture and I get aches in my neck and my shoulders and that from just spending so long in front of my laptop so that was really good Good investment. If anyone else spends way too long sat in front of a laptop and it's interesting getting one of those too, I bought it on Amazon. It was pretty cheap and I'll put a link in the description in case anyone else wants to buy one. To the matter in hand, um, yeah, as I was saying, in my last video I said I was gonna um, set some goals and objectives, um, which I'm gonna do soon, but I'm not gonna do in this video like I said I was going to and that is because I wanted to talk about something else instead. Um, I subscribe to a website called Creative Life which is an education website set up by the photographer Scott Kelby and it has a whole array of online courses uh, to do with pretty much everything to do with photography, Lightroom, Photoshop um, so many different things and I've just finished watching a course entitled Are You Ready To Go Pro? and it's by um, Stella Kramer who is a, a Pulitzer Prize winning editor so you know she's uh, she's an editor so she's the kind of person who, who who buys for us so she's a good person to get advice from because she's one who sort of hires and it was a really interesting course and I learned a lot of things which I wanted to share because it's probably going to change my approach going forward so I thought I should share that. First of all I haven't really spoke about what my kind of plan was going forward and to give you a kind of a basic idea of what I originally was thinking of doing obviously I'm moving back to my hometown Carlisle soon which is only a small small city about 100,000 people and my idea was to obviously start approaching clients back home um, like local magazines and local um, I don't know let's say hotel anything local basically uh, but at the same time I was also planning on creating a list of potential clients that I would one day like to work for and that would be everyone I could possibly think of like from airlines to travel companies literally everyone I could possibly think of I was going to create this list and then start trying to work my way through this list and approaching people and um, which would have been quite an epic task but that's what I was going to do. I kind of figured if I cast a large net and then, you know, see what I catch from that. Um, but after watching this course the other day, I've kind of changed my opinion on, on that and that approach as one of the key things that Stella said in the video was that she suggested uh, a smaller list rather than a larger list. She said focus your attentions on a smaller group that you can really devote your time and effort 
into making contact with them and persuading them to buy your work. Uh, most photographers, like I thought, thought more was better, but she believes that uh, less is actually better. So she kept repeating, like, begin where you are, start where you are, and um, so go to like local galleries, restaurants, coffee shops, um, look at the artwork that they have on their walls, do they have any, do they need any, um, get to know the people who make those decisions, and then, you know, start asking them if they would be interested in displaying your artwork, for example. Yeah, build your career where you are, and then reach out from there. Uh, it will help you in knowing how to present yourself and what to present to people and it will act as sort of like a comfort zone. You'll begin to learn what works and how to present yourself and how to approach people and she said, we've all heard it before but I guess it's true, it's better to be a big fish in a small pond than a small fish in a big pond. So yeah, it's totally true. She also said you should always be asking people uh, who you should be speaking to, who you should be uh, showing your work to, who is looking for artwork. Learn to talk to people about what it is that you do because you never know um, who might be connected to who. And this is something that I need to get better at because um, when I'm meeting people that I don't, who don't necessarily know me and stuff, I'm not very good at telling them about what I want to do and stuff because I just assume, like for example, if you, it's kind of like the cliche of a girl going to Hollywood to try and make it as an actress and I kind of feel that most people are going to be like, oh yeah, come on, dream on. So, uh, I, I'm not very good at telling random people because I just kind of assume that's going to be their reaction. So... Uh, I definitely need to get better at doing what she says here and basically telling everyone about what it is you're wanting to do because she kept repeating that you need to let everyone know that you're looking for clients and that that means everyone from the person who cuts your hair to the person who hands you your coffee at the coffee shop and um, you know colleagues um, everyone potentially anyone could be a help to you uh, and like I say, you don't know who's connected to who. And especially, I guess, when I move back to Carlisle, which is a small place, um, people are going to know each other and people are going to talk and news can get around and things. So it's something I definitely need to do when I, when I get back up to Carlisle. Another thing, I guess photographers always sort of assume that they need to be in one of the big cities to sort of find the interesting things to photograph. And it's just not true. And Stella made the point in the in the video as well that the world is full of stories that aren't being told and the world around you, you've just got to uh, go out and look for them. So yeah, I'm really excited about going back to Carlisle now, being in a small place and I think it can be a big advantage for me and like I've said, like this video's shown to me, good place for me to start and learn and grow and... Um, try and become a, a big fish in a small pond and yeah it's changed my approach because like I said I was originally gonna create this huge massive list of potential clients and work my way through that which would have been a huge huge task but that's what my thinking was and after watching this video um, my approach going forward has definitely changed so I'm gonna focus on Carlisle and the surrounding area um, obviously Carlisle is close to the Lake District so it's a good place I think for um, my kind of photography because people do visit it to go uh, visit the, the Lake District so yeah I think it's I'm really excited about it yeah I'm um, Please to watch this video because it's been um, a big help for me. Um, I will put a link to the Kelby training website because it, it is really good. It's about, it's I think it's just under 50, about £12 a month. Uh, but there's so many courses on it to do with pretty much everything 
related to photography and you know even if you just scribe for like a month or two um, there's no way you'd get through all the courses in that time but you know if you wanted to try it out if you are interested in photography I would recommend it there's a lot of good advice on there and also all these things that I've learned I think I'll also put in a blog post I'll write them up in a, in a blog article so I'll link that below as well so if you want to read through that and read through the points I've made in a bit more detail then you can do that but I just wanted to share those points and kind of give you an idea of what I'm going to be doing going forward um, so I am still going to be setting some goals uh, which I guess maybe I'll do in the next video I'm definitely going to do soon but obviously those goals will have sort of changed now but either this many other things I want to talk about as well kind of share more about how I how I got into photography and share a bit more about me and my journey so far and other things as well so a lot of things to come uh, so keep watching and I'll see you soon bye